When you board an airplane, you expect a pleasant flight with as much comfort as you could get. But your comfort, and safety too for that matter, heavily depends on your friendly flight attendants. Of course, they won't say anything, but there are things they frown upon, and one that they just loathe. But I'm getting ahead of myself. So if you really want a nice journey, you should keep in mind not to do those things that earn you the wrath of the flight attendants. Starting with number 1. Going to the airplane bathroom while boarding. It may sound like common sense not to do so, but you've probably seen people doing it anyway. Reasons might be different, the most common one being the passenger running awfully late and not having had a chance to use the bathroom beforehand. That's understandable for sure. But still, if you're not in a hurry to board a plane, it's best to do your business in advance. If you wonder why flight attendants care about this, it's quite simple. They get punished if a boarding takes too long. Say what? Yeah, they can be fined for time not well spent, even if it's not their fault at all. And when there's a line of passengers waiting to use the bathroom while everyone else is looking for their seats, delays are guaranteed. Let's be people, people! Number 2. Taking too much carry-on There are airports that don't really check how many bags you take on board, granted. But this doesn't mean you should smuggle two backpacks and three handbags the size of that blue IKEA bag. The overhead bins on board the plane are limited in size, and you share them with other passengers, remember that? So when you take too much carry-on with you, two unpleasant things happen at once. One, you make other people wait while you put all your stuff up there. And two, those people who've been waiting for you can't put their own bags into the bins because you've hogged them. I'd be upset, you know. On top of that, it's flight attendants' duty to help those unfortunate passengers cram their belongings inside. Doesn't sound cool, and it's not. They waste precious time. Yours too, by the way. Imagine your flight delayed just because someone has taken too many bags with them. Hmm, I'd rather not be that person. Number 3. Bringing sources of strong smells That includes food you take on board with you, heavily perfumed items, and those socks you've been wearing the whole day. A uh, whole week. The plane's cabin is airtight, and the air inside is constantly recycled. I'm sure you've noticed how different it feels to breathe when you're high up in the air. And now, picture someone unwrapping a lunchbox with boiled fish inside, still almost hot. Ooy. The whole cabin will soon know that there's something fishy going on. Flight attendants are not an exception. And even more, they are working and will have to stay and get rid of the smell after the flight is over. Enough to ruin your day for good. But even pleasant smells can get on your nerves when there's just too much of them. That perfume piece of handmade soap you carry on board with you has a wonderful aroma, but only for the first few minutes. When it gets more intense, you'll probably get dirty looks from your fellow passengers, and your flight attendants might ask you to stash that fragrant thingy someplace safe, or just to step outside. The most impolite thing to do with smells, though, is perhaps taking off your shoes. Oh, I know that feeling when you've just spent several long hours in the terminal, and then you're finally aboard and just itching to let your feet relax a bit. But hey, when you take your shoes off, everyone else has to smell them. No one can stop you from doing that, of course, but that's just about being a good neighbor. Number 4. Leaving your headphones on This boils down to respect, pure and simple. When a flight attendant approaches you to ask a question, it's polite to take off your headphones and pay them your full attention. With a simple gesture, you can make their day. It's always nice to feel you're not invisible to the passengers. After all, you're not listening to music or watching movies when a waiter approaches you at a restaurant, right? So why should flight attendants be any different? Anyway, besides being polite by taking your headphones off, you let them do their job fluently. And that, as I mentioned earlier, is something they're always thankful for. Number 5. Asking to switch seats Flight attendants confess that one of the most frustrating things is when passengers start trying to persuade them to change their seat assignments. The thing is, they simply can't do that. You have your seat assignment in your ticket and boarding pass, and changing it on the spot may create a mess. 
And once again, it also makes flight attendants waste their time on explanations when they could be actually doing their job, which is, honestly, a lot of things. By the way, the key one of those things is ensuring your safety during the flight. So, number 6. Getting up while the fasten your seatbelt sign is on. This flashing sign isn't there just for decoration. It's actually more of an imperative to make sure you stay safe. When taking off, taxiing, and landing, as well as during turbulence, you should stay seated and fasten your belt in case anything happens. Even flight attendants themselves follow this rule. So when you get up to stretch your legs or use the bathroom, you create a potentially dangerous situation both for yourself and your fellow passengers. It's not cool to find yourself kissing the floor when an especially unpleasant shock goes through the plane during turbulence. Number 7. Constantly pressing the call button. Okay, flight attendants are there for your benefit and comfort. But there are a couple hundred of other passengers with you, and only several attendants to serve them. If you insistently press the call button for no good reason, chances are you will be asked to stop doing that, or even ignored completely. Their job is not all fun and games, and if they realize you're abusing the button, they may pretend they have more pressing concerns at hand. Usually, though, those concerns are more pressing. Of course, they risk being reprimanded for not attending your call if it's something serious. But they're people too. Give them a break. Number 8. Asking about the menu. What do you have? Is on the list of questions no flight attendant would like to hear. That's because the menu is normally in the pocket right in front of you, and you have plenty of time to choose what you want to eat and drink before the meal is served. When you ask a flight attendant what they have, you make other passengers wait longer and get edgy. Consider this when you take your time ordering your food and drinks. For me, it's enough to imagine that someone does this while I'm waiting for the flight attendant to arrive with that deliciously smelling cart. Number 9. Not giving your trash to the flight attendants. One of the downsides of working as a flight attendant is that you only get paid for the hours of actual flight. All the work you do while on land is free. I know, it's terribly unfair, but that's how it is. And who do you think keeps the plane clean after the flight? Yep, it's them too. It's never fun when someone adds to your workload without adding to your paycheck as well, right? So, out of respect for your flight attendants, please hand in your trash when they walk along the rows with the bin. Don't stash it in the magazine pocket or let it lie somewhere else. It takes too much time to fetch it afterwards. It's also good to remember that you should only give your trash when the flight attendants are collecting it specifically. It's a bit weird to do so when they hand out meals or drinks. After all, they don't even have any bin to throw it into. You expect them to put your used napkin into their pocket or something? Number 10. Not listening to the safety presentation. If you travel by plane a lot, you might think you know it all already and simply relax while the flight attendants are presenting safety instructions. Some people even turn on the music in their headphones or start talking to their friends. Well, okay, granted, safety presentations are really similar on most airlines, but it's still worth it to refresh them in your memory before the flight. Hopefully, you won't need them. But things happen, and you need all the knowledge you can get in case they do. Flight attendants know it better than anyone, so they get really frustrated when passengers ignore the instructions. Number 11. Touching flight attendants to get their attention. Remember I told you about the one thing all flight attendants loathe? Well, this is it. We all agree that touching a complete stranger in the street or on public transport is out of the question. Same goes for any other public place, including cafes, for example. You don't grab your waiter by the arm when you want them to listen, do you? But on the airplane, many people seem to forget about this rule. It's absolutely not fine to poke or grab a flight attendant for any reason, just like any other person. Some attendants say, though, that there are people who find it okay to touch them by the knee or ankle when they pass by. I don't know about you, but for me, that's just creepy. Well, Brightsiders, what are the things you don't like that passengers do on board airplanes? Let me know down in the comments! If you learned something new today, then give this video a like and share it with a friend. But hey, don't go touching that flight attendant just yet. Didn't you hear what I just said? Anyway, 
we have over 2,000 cool videos for you to check out. All you have to do is pick the left or right video, click on it, and enjoy. Stay on the bright side of life.